Well, welcome back to Eye of the Live, and it is that coveted time each and every week we check in with our friends over at the Blank Park Zoo, and we have a good friend of ours. Uh, he's the CEO Emeritus of the Blank Park Zoo, Mark Vukovic, and he is standing at a place that we have been thinking about and wishing for for quite some time, Jackie. And probably enjoys this morning with how hot it is already in the 7 o'clock hour. Uh, Mark, where are you at today? I'm in the new event center. Uh, we're getting close to being done finally with it. And it's been part of the zoo's dream since 1986 or seven. And in the early 90s, we put up what we called the Zooplex, the white tent that we use for events, which was neither heated or air conditioned or had bathrooms. And it had served its purpose and was wearing out. And we decided we needed to enter the 21st century. And we built this nice new building. How about that? Now, let's compare sizes of what the, the new complex is and what the Zooplex was to give people an idea. This is 10,000 square feet, which is the same footprint as the Zooplex. But this makes use of all, all 10,000 square feet, whereas the Zooplex, because of the way it was designed, you lost about 20% of the building for the mechanicals and uh, the bat behind the scenes uh, things that made the building work so we can sit 385 for a sit down meal and we can have an event uh, with a lecture or a band of seven eight hundred people air conditioned and heated which is really important to us so we can make it a year-round facility well, it looks like the lights are on and uh, things are ready to go. We were over there just the other day and really impressed as to how things are unfolding here. And the front entrance of the zoo, of the, they, what, do you, what are you calling this uh, complex now? Is it is it just the event center now? We will be, be announcing who uh, is, is the lead gift and we'll be having na naming rights have been given out. and We're going to be very proud of the sponsor for that. Okay, so right. the name is yet to come, but the, the front entrance of the area, uh, it is very accessible, and the, the front's going to look a little different for those people that are at the zoo, too, coming up in the near future, right? Yes, uh, the front of the, uh, the fence will be down, and, and one of the things the average zoo visitor will notice most of all on a regular day is the bathrooms in the zooplex will be open daily and shut off from the event center part of the building, so you will have heated and air-conditioned bathrooms for both men and women open daily uh, and we are adding large amount of capacity so that should make everybody happy. I was going to say probably one of the best things you said this morning is more bathrooms <laughs> at the zoo when if you're kind of at that halfway point you don't have to go all yep. the way back to the entrance you're able to utilize that now. When yes. are we thinking the official like grand opening of this event space? Well, partly the official grand opening will depend on what happens with the virus and the regulations we have to follow but we're within 30 days of having everything done and ready to go. And then it just depends uh, what happens with our ability to use the building. Now, yeah. Mark, explain to everybody why it is so important that a building like this, an event center like this, is going to be able to be utilized over at the zoo. Well, one, it'll be good for the zoo. We do many weddings. We have small conferences and conventions. We have our speakers that come in, and we've been limited by both heat and air conditioning and the size of the room we can use. This will, you know, just make us a, a real event convention center on the south side. Number two, for Des Moines, there's not a lot of convention or event space in the south side, and this will help an area of Des Moines that needs to have growth come its way and we should help make that happen. And then finally, everything we do at the zoo is to push our mission of education, conservation and research. And every dollar we bring in for events that helps support the zoo lets us put more money to those three goals. That is awesome. It is amazing. And I know in the immediate future, we're not exactly sure what's happening with the pandemic, but let's say a year down the road, someone's like seeing this brand new space saying, yes, I want to book that for my event, my wedding, so forth. Are you taking bookings at this time? We are taking bookings. You can get online and go to the event page. You can call the zoo and ask for events, and we will be glad to tour you and give you a uh, find out what date you need it and see if we have that open yet to reserve it. Now, I just want to remind everybody, uh, this complex will be open and the space will be open even if the zoo is not functional. Uh, is, that, is that true, Mark? Yes, if, if the zoo were closed because of a rainstorm or winter or after hours, this, it will be open. We'll have events seven days a week, but pretty much year round. Yeah, that's going to be a game changer for a lot of things happening on the south side because the south side is looking for a space like this. And it's got to make you proud because you worked really hard at this over the, especially the past several years, Mark, just to get the, the ball rolling here. Yes, it, it was one of the most important things we could do for the zoo when it comes to a revenue stream to help 
make us successful in our other missions. So this is very important. It also, what it does is let us bring people to the zoo with a walk through the entrance and up to the zooplex or the new event center, and they will uh, are those are the kind of people that we've never had come to the zoo. They're here for a meeting, they're here for a convention, they're here for a wedding or a speaker, and that broadens our appeal and gets people to see just how important the zoo is to the city and the state. And yeah, that's absolutely. really important for the zoo because uh, for those people that don't realize it, uh, tell everybody how the zoo operates and, and where they get their funds from. Well, we are a nonprofit, and every we have to work as a business and raise every dollar that we spend. So, uh, having a, a, another source of revenue would be great. For example, in a February weekend, we could put bounce houses in here and have that included in your daily ticket, which would drive attendance in a time of year we never really wouldn't have. Or we bring a traveling exhibit in because we need it to be air conditioned and heated, and we could have a traveling exhibit here for two or three months uh, that would help drive attendance that way. So it, it's not just a wedding or a convention. And it'll, it'll do many more things for us. Oh, that's yeah. going to open the door to opportunities to get even, uh, you know, neater stuff over at the zoo, Jackie. Now, uh, I was going to say a huge opportunity. You took the words out of my mouth. If we're able to widen your shot at all so people can really see how uh, large this facility is. I don't know if your camera operator can hear us, but uh, to kind of back up and take a look. Uh, we're talking about a massive, great space, as you said, used for many opportunities, completely air conditioned. They can heat it. And most importantly, those bathrooms all access. Uh, handicap accessible. Uh, look for new great things happening at the Blank Park Zoo. So thank you for giving us kind of a sneak peek. Even see those big doors that can probably open up, correct? Yes. And one last thing I want to get a pitch in for. We have Walk for the Wild coming up in mid-September. And it's now time to sign up, form a team, and help us save animals in the wild. And it's in the zoo. It's not a long walk. And we'll have all kinds of fun things going on. So come to our webpage and look for Walk for the Wild. That's our next big event. All right. So, Mark, uh, it is so neat to see that building go up and how quickly uh, the building went up, too. But it was just uh, it seemed like just yesterday, Jackie, that big uh, we call it the big plastic building was there. But now it is gone and it has been repurposed somewhere else. But the new complex is about ready to open. Congratulations, Mark. Thank you very much. We're really proud of the facility. Now, people want to find out everything else going on at the Blank Park Zoo. What is the easiest way for people to find out that information? Go to our webpage. That's just that simple. <laughs> Thank you, CEO Meredith. <laughs> it's pretty darn simple. <laughs> Looking to book your next big event? Uh, give them a call. They'd be happy to help you out anytime or check them out on the events tab at their website. Mark, always great to see you. Thank you for some behind the scenes this morning. Thank you for having us. All right, buddy. Take it easy. Don't